Hello, my name is Lindsey Graham, and I am a cat. Meow, meow. I'm not a woman dressed as a cat. I am a cat. By show of hands, I'm curious, uh, how many of you believe and confess that I'm a cat? Great. I am, by show of hands, I'm curious, how many of you believe that your child or a child from this school would believe that I'm actually a cat? No one. You are right. Why? Because you are not stupid, and these children are not stupid. Truth prevails over imagination. Reality exists. Discernment is innate and something we are biologically wired to have. One look at me, and you know this to be true. I am a woman posing as a cat. You may also think correctly that if I truly believe I'm a cat, I have a mental disorder. If I suffer from a mental disorder, and if I am unable to discern reality, am I safe to be around children? Would you put me in charge of making critical decisions about the safety and well-being of children and about the direction of their education when I cannot even discern truth from fiction? Confession. I'm not actually a cat, guys, just because I say I am. You've not agreed to or committed to addressing me as a cat simply because I demand it. No tail, whiskers, or outfit makes me a cat. Just like no lipstick, high heels, or long hair makes him a man, a woman. It is just as biologically impossible for me to become a cat as it is for a man to be a woman. And you have one job as members of this school board, and it's defined as this. School board members are responsible for broad, forward-thinking, minute analysis and decisive action in all areas that affect students and staff in their schools. I ask you, do you believe that the actions of a grown man playing dress up as a woman affects the students and staff positively or negatively? A public school is not the place for social experiments in altered realities or gender ideologies. It is not the place to celebrate a grown man with a mental illness, dressing as a woman, and teaching kids lies. Children come to school to learn facts and truths about reality, including unchanging biological truths about science and nature, not to learn that they can change biological realities and become anything they want in the name of diversity. What you're actually doing is worse than just lying to our kids. You're forcing them to be participants in your lie, in your charade. You're forcing them to deny what they see with their eyes and you're forcing them to speak lies. I ask you again, am I a cat? And if you say no, then the mindset must be aligned with your discernment across the board. By allowing a falsity to be displayed and paraded around the school, you teach children that truth is not existent, facts are not real, and biology is a lie. You fail at your job, your only job, by confusing children and teaching them untruths and to coddle a grown man playing dress up as a woman. If you were to address me as a cat right now, it's as ridiculous as when you say Miss Bixler and a grown man's voice comes thundering over this. Thank you.